In order for you to live the life you want and deserve, you need to know the next moves you have to do. Because to live such a life, which is achieved and not given, you need to know what to do next. Look at life, look at people, be conscious. What so many people tend to do in their life? Why are they stuck in the same routine? Remember, in order for you to live a certain life with certain standards, certain money and certain freedom, you need to take some choices and do some moves. So why do people are unable? Why are people unable to take those choices? Because they're unconscious of the moves they're not taking. So make sure to listen closely to this vlog from Bali, where I show you the life I've been able to live. I gained, you know, I earned through effort and lots of work. So you can understand the next moves you can do for your life. Enjoy the show, open your ears, and look at the beautiful life, which you, I'm sure, are gonna be living as well. Remember, you first start with the body, then you go with the mental, and then you go with the spiritual. Too many spiritual gurus out there. They start with their bodies, and they start with their money, and their business, and their mindset. So go first with the body, because a strong business is led by a strong body. It doesn't work in reverse. a.m. here in the morning and the vibe is just stunning my man like it makes me feel so alive and talking about the moves because I want you to take the leap in your life you know I want you to take to your life to the next level I'm thinking of sharing with you the first move we all gotta make and the first move is to go deep in ourselves building the strength of the skills being building the expertise like we really need to understand that the first move is to build ourselves up we need to become monsters. We need to become those beasts, you know, that can grind and work hard and make an impact in the world and help people and become valuable. So if you're someone who doesn't love to read, you're decided to be, to be poor. If you're someone who decides not to build this body, like we said yesterday, you're deciding to be poor. If you're someone who is deciding not to spend time with valuable people, you're deciding to stay poor. Like, you need to take those decisions. Remember, a good friend of mine, Daniel G, says, it doesn't take time to change your life. It takes time to take the decision to change your life. So today, the first move you have to make is wake up earlier, go to late, later than everyone else, and build yourselves build the freaking skills because those are the base for a future life It's very beautiful to see for me when I travel around the globe uh, how so many people they stop as soon as you know the path for beautiful beaches for beautiful places gets hard and it's always like that you can see all the sheep you know all the ships just staying in the main beach and just couple atrevidos you know un par de atrevidos just couple of people that just climb you know and go on the other side of the fucking hill and they have their own private public but private like a uh, beach you know seaside and here it was the same we went down the road down the road down the road to these beautiful waterfalls and you can really see so many people stay on the shore and just a couple of them climb and get the beautiful spot and so the next move you gotta take is the one you're avoiding the most let me say that again the next move you have to take is the one you're avoiding the most you have to get uncomfortable and get comfortable becoming uncomfortable okay Take this seriously because life gets serious the more you get serious. And the more you get serious about life getting serious, the more money you're gonna make and the more beautiful life gets. Because life doesn't get easier, you get harder, stronger. Let's go man, go hard.
morning I was thinking about, have you ever known a day trader, a famous day trader, a scalper who became the most famous scalper in the world? I didn't. I always known those people instead who are long-term investors and they are famous like Warren Buffett and you know, and you know who. So, so many people, but they are long-term investors. This got me thinking like, wow, wow. So the long-term investors who do 1%, 2%, 3%, 7% a year, 12% a year, they try to beat the market as much as they can, became famous. And the fucking day trader who says the statement of, I'm making 20% a day, I'm making 20% a month, never gets famous. So what this leads the conversation to, it's, uh, are you playing a short-term game? Are you playing a game to impress other people? Or are you playing the game of the long term, on, of the longevity? Because let me tell you, in business, a move we always, we all have to think, it's the long-term move. Where are we moving our ass? Where are we bringing these, these, these legs to, you know? Where, where are we gonna be in 10 years from now? 15, 20, 30, life is long. So when we start thinking of the long run, then we also understand the importance of sleep. This morning we wake up at 6.30. Yesterday night I did yoga before going to sleep and I tried to sleep as much as I could, like five hours and a half, which is not that much to me, but sometimes in life you have to cut sleep, but some other times you have to know, in general, the importance of sleep and take a good restful sleep. And sleep is a big topic and we're not gonna talk and discuss uh, sleep now, but just to let you know, think of the things you need for the long run. Sleep is one of them. Good friends is another one of them. Uh, 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 learning how to invest is another big topic. Financial freedom is another thing you, I think, want to have. Anyways, now we grab dinner. Uh, dinner, good night. Uh, we grab uh, breakfast real quick because today we have a long trip again, waterfalls and stuff. Then we come back, we work a little bit. And then tomorrow it's going to be the big day because we're going to go into the volcano, wake up 2 a.m. in the morning and going to see the sunrise over there. Bye-bye. where the weak people don't come in the most beautiful things in life why because they're fucking scared to put in the work put in the damn work Woo! move you need to make in this life is to hang around with the correct people my friend so Andrea Julia are here for me you know I've got so many friends high-level friends you know smart individuals you know giving individuals so hang around with the correct people man like we all think about making the money and making the moves and becoming rich and living the life but actually it's the basic stuff which make the, makes the difference you know like stay with the correct people because people like them people like the friends I hang around with are people who add value to your life. They don't subtract, they don't ask, they give. And this is the main characteristic of uh, the smart individual you wanna hang around with. Like people who add value to you, people who tell you uh, ideas, who share with you thoughts, who add value, who somehow they are providing something to you. So don't stay with people if they just love you for what you give them. Stay with them for what they give you. Coffee. Coffee from shit. So, so basically there's this animal called Luhak. They eat the beans of the coffee plant. They shit. They collect by hand the shit. They clean. They extract the, the, the coffees and then they process it. Mm. 
If you don't want to go to the toilet now. <laughs> Hey man, so it's the last day here in Bali. We're headed to Hong Kong and after Hong Kong, we're gonna go back to Italy because I have a tour for one of my businesses and it's unbelievable. This is a beautiful, such a beautiful day here today and just wanna share with you my last move, you know, I want you to take today. And the last move is to add some axes, you know, multiply but some axes, the goal you had for next year. I'm gonna, you know, shoot for a million a month in net, net income, okay? So I'm gonna like do like times four, all right, the, uh, the current income. So I really want you to really think big, why? Because successful people, they want to put themselves under pressure. They want to be able to crave as much as they can, to squeeze this life, you know, to squeeze time as much as they can. And in order for them to do that, they need to shorten the time frame, the time span they're working on, and they need to have more pressure and absolutely become more skilled. Because at a certain point, you cannot use more time because time is dead, but you can become more skilled. So putting yourself in a shorter period of time, higher pressure is gonna help you a lot. So increase the goals, increase your revenues, increase your income, increase your skills, increase yourself. God bless you from, from Bali, full send. Let's go, let's kill it. See you in the next vlog. Subscribe to the channel if you had some value. Share with some friends to inspire them and kill it bro, kill it.